Well, you find me down at the Warpack car park. We're just loading up the barra, getting it all sorted, all the kit on there, and then we will be going through the gate of freedom to the Warpack fishery and gonna, gonna, go, gonna, gonna go and have a look, see where we're gonna be ending up, whether it be Lake Seven, Lake Five or Six, I think it'd be Seven. I'm eager to get back on there, see if we can get, get amongst the fish again. So guys, I will uh, see you down there when I've had a look around. Welcome to the vlog. What a beautiful day it is, even though it is autumnal and the autumn, cold at night, not great fishing weather to be fair, but look at that bright as anything today. Okay, let's try and turn that down a bit. Oh, look at that, bright as anything that sun. I think it's 16 degrees today. <sighs> That's uh, beautiful, isn't it? Let's try, yeah, let's try and turn that around. But yes, yeah, it's beautiful. Look, there's a fish on top up there just shot. I don't think you can see it, to be fair. No, I don't think you can see it, but... Well, we've had a look around. I've done a lap. Looked in a few swims, looked likely, a few lightly looking areas. And um, let's get back from there. It's a bit too bright for my eyes. Oh, I have to do that because I can't see. Yeah, we looked in a few lightly looking areas. Looked in a few swims. Um, not seen a great deal. It's been a, there's been a few around, must admit, with this sun out. But I'm in a swim, I've decided to come to a swim called the Elephant. I fished it, or, or sea fishing it, a, a few weeks back uh, when I was fishing over there, when I caught that nice common. There's a swim over there called the High Bank, and I see fish in this general area as well. Uh, it's. Um, yeah, I haven't seen anything over there, I haven't seen anything at this sort of end of the lake, but I've seen it down and a bit down to the left here. So this is the closest swim I can get to where I've seen fish on top, underneath the surface. Um, yeah, just generally milling around. It's the time there, quarter past three. We've got two and three quarter hours. About six o'clock it gets dark now, would you believe? Mid-October. Night time really is the time when they tend to show and, and give themselves away in the autumn time, I found anyway. Your lake might be different, but I found autumn time. I did do a video recently about my sort of autumnal, autumn tactics. I talk about this a little bit, about the areas they frequent, where they feed, that's where you need to target. So I'll put that here, and that'll be, um, I'll show you the link or the video where you can have a look in the playlist. That being back to basics playlist, I believe. But yes, yeah, looking good, looking nice. It's not that busy, there's only a couple on, which is brilliant. Uh, makes a change for it to being really busy at the moment. But I think where it's not a lot's been happening, not been a lot of fish out, not been a lot of fish showing. Uh, all the lakes have been a little bit quiet. Eight's fish, there's been a few out, but generally seven, been quiet, that's how I like it. 16 degrees. Five, four degrees at night. Still got a chance of getting a bite, I think. It's not, we haven't given up hope just yet. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna unload this lot, unload the barra, get set up, find them spots. I know there's a nice clean area to the left. Then I've got to find another spot straight out. Uh, yeah, get myself sorted, get some rods out, get a few baits out there. Happy days, see you in a while. Rods are out, sun's going down, sort of, Arrived right, a bit late today to get everything sorted. Messy as messy could be. Look at the state. And these black look, seagulls. I think they're gonna get a free free dinner. Well, they're not from me tonight, I tell you. I've had enough of them. There's about 20 of them hovering. So I just try to put some baits out with the old catapult. Look, stay to that. Needs that needs proper sorted out. Right, let's talk through where I've got them. Over to the left over there. I've got three rods spaced out, 15 yards. 15 yards, 15 yards, that's about 45 yards, I've got three rods in there. Um, D-rigs, like always fish, this time of year in the autumn. D-rigs with a wafter on there, you know, in the silt. Although one of them felt a little bit harder, so it might be on the, might be where the silt meets the gravel or the bottom of the bar, I think it is. So it's a big bar that runs all the way along there, all the way along. And I'm fishing just this side of it, in the silt. And uh, it's looking rather good. Seen some fish, but they've been up there, sort of swirling around, a couple topped. So I might be in the wrong place. I might have to move tomorrow, depending on what happens. But yeah, I'm gonna, when it gets dark, 
going to put out a couple of catapults of bait, boilies, uh, washed out. Really, look at those, look. Look at those, like, lighten that up for you. You can have a look. Yeah, have a look at that in there, look. That, those heat treatment boilies. I told you guys, if you haven't seen the video, and the old heat treatment boilies, those are the ones, look. That's what you need to do. A couple of different size 18s, dumbbells in there. Their heat treatment from yesterday. Boiling water, 